There's an all-new version of the Honda Civic out this year, and I bet I'd never guess it was a Civic if you blindfolded me and took me for a drive in it. It's a lot quieter this year, and while it still has that snappy sensation in turns that I just love about the Civic, it also feels more refined than ever. And that makes sense when you look at the cars Honda benchmarked it against. When Honda was designing this new car, they didn't want to just compare it to the low-priced cars it competes against. They also looked at compact luxury cars that cost a lot more. And you can feel that when you drive it. It's super solid feeling, and it's so much quieter now that it almost doesn't feel like a Civic, at least not how I remember them being. I've driven both the sedan and coupe versions of the Civic in recent weeks, including spending a week behind the wheel of the two-door model that has a sportier look and feel. What do I like about it? The interior has a kind of NASA-like vibe about it. It's very futuristic and forward-looking with the design of its lighting and digital gauges. I love the fact that you can get it with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, two of the must-have features for a new car, the way I see things. And I like the new turbocharged engine, the first turbo that's ever been fitted to a Civic from the factory. My usual wish for Hondas still rings true with this one. If I could wave my magic wand, I'd give it bigger, beefier buttons on the entertainment system to make it easier to operate. As it is, with small buttons next to the digital screen, I really prefer using the steering wheel controls to change the settings on the car. The styling, though, is spot on. Compact cars are tough to get right. If you make them too bland, you end up yawning when you look at them. If you make them too wild, you look like you belong in a Fast and Furious movie. But Honda just nailed the styling on both the sporty coupe and the slightly more sedate sedan, adding lots of visual interest that too many of today's compact cars lack. Now, if you do want the Fast and Furious look, just order the energy green paint that came on my test car. It looks radioactive.